Mohamed Ai Idrisi. Abwabdullah Mohamed Al Idrisi Al Qutubi Al Hassani as Sabdi, born in 1100, died in 1165, was a Muslim geographer and cartographer who served in the court of King Roger II at Palermo, Sicily. Mohamed Ai Idrisi was born in Theta, then belonging to the Almoravid dynasty. He created the Tabula Regiriana, one of the most advanced medieval world maps. Ai Idrisi was born into the Hamudid family of North Africa and Ai Andalus, meaning he was a descendant of Hazan ibn Ali, the first grandson of Muhammad. Ai Idrisi was born in the city of Theta, at the time controlled by the Almoravids but now a part of Spain, where his great-grandfather had been forced to settle after the fall of Hamudid Mlaga to the Zirids of Granada. He spent much of his early life traveling through North Africa and Ai Andalus Muslim Spain of the times and seems to have acquired detailed information on both regions. He visited Anatolia when he was barely 16. He studied in Crotoba. His travels took him to many parts of Europe, including Portugal, the Pyrenees, the French Atlantic coast, Hungary, and JRVK now known as York. Conflict and instability in Ai Andalus Ai Idrisi joined contemporaries such as Abuai Salt in Sicily, where the Normans had overthrown Arabs formerly loyal to the Fatimids. Ai Idrisi incorporated the knowledge of Africa, the Indian Ocean and the Far East gathered by Islamic merchants and explorers, and recorded on Islamic maps, with the information brought by the Norman voyagers to create the most accurate map of the world in Piari modern times, which served as a concrete illustration of his Kitab Nuzat AI. Mushtak, which may be translated a diversion for the man longing to travel to far-off places. The Tabula Regiriana was drawn by Ai Idrisi in 1154 for the Norman king Roger II of Sicily after a stay of 18 years at his court, where he worked on the commentaries and illustrations of the map. The map, with legends written in Arabic, while showing the Eurasian continent in its entirety, only shows the northern part of the African continent and lacks details of the Horn of Africa and Southeast Asia. For Roger, it was inscribed on a massive disk of solid silver, two meters in diameter. On the geographical work of A.I. Idrisi, S. P. Scott wrote in 1904, the compilation of A.I. Idrisi marks an era in the history of science. Not only is its historical information most interesting and valuable, but its descriptions of many parts of the earth are still authoritative. For three centuries geographers copied his maps without alteration. The relative position of the lakes which form the Nile, as delineated in his work, does not differ greatly from that established by Baker and Stanley more than 700 years afterwards, and their number is the same. The mechanical genius of the author was not inferior to his erudition. The celestial and terrestrial planisphere of silver which he constructed for his royal patron was nearly six feet in diameter and weighed 450 pounds. Upon the one side, the zodiac and the constellations, upon the other divided, for convenience into segments, the bodies of land and water with the respective situations of the various countries were engraved. Aiyadris's work influenced a number of Islamic scholars, including Ibn Sa'd Ayyam Maghribi, Hafiz Iabiyu, and Ibn A. Khaldun, but his work was unknown in Western Europe and had little influence on the development of Renaissance cartography. Ai Idrisi, in his famous Tabula Regiriana, mentioned Alanda Ai Kabarad Great Island. According to him, from the extremity of Iceland to that of Great Island, the sailing time was one day. Although historians note that both Ai Idrisi and the Norse tend to understate distances, the only location this reference is thought to have possibly pointed to must likely have been in Greenland. Ai Idrisi mentioned that Chinese junks carried leather, swords, iron and silk. He mentions the glassware of the city of Hangzhou and labels Quan's house silk as the best. In his records of Chinese trade, Ai Idrisi also wrote about the Silla dynasty, one of Korea's historical dynasties, and a major trade partner to China at the time, and was one of the first Arabs to do so. Ai Idris's references to Silla led other Arab merchants to seek Silla and its trade and contribute to many Arabs' perception of Silla as the ideal East Asian country. As well as the maps, Ai Idrisi produced a compendium of geographical information, with the title Kitab Nuzat Ayan Mushtaq Fiktairak AIAFAQ. 
The title has been translated as the Book of Pleasant Journeys into Faraway Lands or the Pleasure of Him Who Longs to Cross the Horizons. It has been preserved in nine manuscripts, seven of which contain maps. The translated title of this work, In the Pleasure of Him, form attracted favorable comment from the team selecting lists of names for features. Expected to be discovered by the New Horizons probe reconnoitering the Pluto system, the AI Idrisi Montes is a geographical feature in that system named after him. In the introduction, AI Idrisi mentions two sources for geographical coordinates, Claudius Ptolemy and an astronomer that must be Ishik Ibnai Hazen AI Zaya, and states that he has cross-checked oral reports from different informers to see if geographical coordinates were consistent. An abridged version of the Arabic text was published in Rome in 1592 with title De Geographia Universali or Kit Nuzat AI Mushkef Dika AI AMR, WAAIQR, WAAI Balden, WAAI Juza, WAAI Mad and WAAI. FQ, which in English would be recreation of the desire and the account of cities, regions, countries, islands, towns, and distant lands. This was one of the first Arabic books ever printed. The first translation from the original Arabic was into Latin. The Maronites Gabriel Sionida and Joannes Hezronida translated an abridged version of the text which was published in Paris in 1619 with the title of Geographia Nubiensis. Not until the middle of the 19th century was a complete translation of the Arabic text published. This was a translation into French by Pierre Amde Jorbet. More recently, sections of the text have been translated for particular regions. Beginning in 1970, a critical edition of the complete Arabic text was published. Ayodris's geographical text, Nazat Ayam Mushtaq, is often cited by proponents of P.I. Colombian and Alicean America's contact theories. In this text, A.I. Idrisi wrote the following on the Atlantic Ocean, the commander of the Muslims, Ali Ibn Yusuf Ibn Tashfin, sent his admiral A.H.M.A.D.I.B. Umar, better known under the name of Rakshai, A.U.Z.Z. to attack a certain island in the Atlantic, but he died before doing that. Beyond this ocean of fogs, it is not known what exists there. Nobody has the sure knowledge of it, because it is very difficult to traverse it. Its atmosphere is foggy, its waves are very strong, its dangers are perilous, its beasts are terrible, and its winds are full of tempests. There are many islands, some of which are inhabited, others are submerged. No navigator traverses them, but bypasses them, remaining near their coast. And it was from the town of Lisbon that the adventurers set out, known under the name of Mugamaran Adventurers, penetrated the ocean of fogs and wanted to know what it contained and where it ended. After sailing for 12 more days, they perceived an island that seemed to be inhabited and there were cultivated fields. They sailed that way to see what it contained. But soon barks encircled them and made them prisoners and transported them to a miserable hamlet situated on the coast. There they landed. The navigators saw their people with red skin. There was not much hair on their body, the hair of their head was straight, and they were of high stature. Their women were of an extraordinary beauty. This translation by Professor Muhammad Hamadullah is however questionable, since it reports. After having reached an area of sticky and stinking waters, the Muggeraran also translated as the adventurers moved back and first reached an uninhabited island, where they found a huge quantity of sheep, the meat of which was bitter and uneatable, and then continued southward and reached the above reported island where they were soon surrounded by barks, and brought to a village whose inhabitants were often fair-haired, with long and flaxen hair, and the women of a rare beauty. Among the villagers, one spoke Arabic and asked them where they came from. Then the king of the village ordered them to bring them back to the continent, where they were surprised to be welcomed by Berbers. Apart from the marvelous and fanciful reports of this history, the most probable interpretation citation needed is that the Muggeraran reached the Sargasso Sea, a part of the ocean covered by seaweed, which is very close to Bermuda, yet 1,000 miles away from the American mainland. Then while coming back, they may have landed either on the Azores, or on Madeira, or even on the westernmost Canary Island, El Hierro, because of the sheep. Last, the story with the inhabited island might have occurred either on Tenerife or on Gran Canaria, where the Muggeraran presumably met members of the Guanche tribe. 
This would explain why some of them could speak Arabic. Some sporadic contacts had been maintained between the Canary Islands and Morocco and why they were quickly deported to Morocco, where they were welcomed by Berbers. Yet, the story reported by Idrisi is an indisputable account of a certain knowledge of the Atlantic Ocean by Andalusians and Moroccans. Furthermore, A.I. Idrisi writes an account of eight Muggerarian, all from the same family, who set sail from Lisbon Lashbuna. In the first half of that century and navigated in the seaweed-rich seas beyond the Azores, Idrisi describes an island of cormorants with, which has been tentatively identified as Corvo, Cape Verde, but on weak grounds. Among the lesser known works of A.I. Idrisi is a medical dictionary that he compiled, in which he brings down a list of simple drugs and plants, and their curative effects used by physicians, apothecaries, and merchants in his day. The list is unique, as it includes the names of drugs in as many as 12 languages among which are Spanish, Berber, Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit including some 60 Hebrew terms transliterated into Arabic and which are thought to have been passed down to him by Andalusian Jewish informants. At the end of the section on medicinal herbs, which are described under each letter of the alphabet, he gives an index of their entries. One of the books of herbal medicine frequently cited by A.I. Idrisi is Marwan I.B. and Ghana's Kitbei, T.A.L., who in turn had been influenced by the Andalusian physician I.B. and Juljul. A.I. Idrisi was the main character in Tariq Ali's book entitled A Sultan in Palermo. A.I. Idrisi is a major character in Karol Szymanowski's 1926 opera King Roger. A.I. Idrisi is a supporting character in Zain Jukadar's novel The Map of Salt and Stars. In 2019, Factum Foundation created an interpretation of A.I. Idrisi's world map. A silver disc 2 meters in diameter, based on the maps contained in the Bodleian Library's copy of the Nuzat A.I. Mushtaq.